Hi guys, today in this video I'll show you how to create a simple web crawler in PHP. So I will just touch the basic concepts and I'll just to test the concept I just created a demo website in my local server. So this is like a, a demo website so we will try to um, uh, retrieve uh, data from this portal. So I will just create a simple PHP script where I will be able to uh, retrieve information from this page. So I will start by creating a new script. For this purpose um, there are two ways uh, we can use the PHP is uh, simple XML extension to uh, retrieve the content and for that we will have to write uh, queries to uh, access a specific DOM but uh, to just uh, ease the uh, purpose we also have like uh, some uh, pre-built uh, uh, third party uh, libraries to use so we will we'll go ahead with them because they will make our life a bit easy so I'll just uh, the one I, I like the most is I'll share that one and we'll go ahead with that uh, example. So it's called uh, simple crawler. So Sym Symphony uh, is like a package repository which has a lot of modules that Symphony can components. file modules we have uh, database access modules a lot of stuff we have available for it so for, for our purpose we'll be using Tom crawler so uh, the, there are two ways we can either download their package from the uh, github uh, repository either that or we can just uh, use the composer uh, php composer to install this component uh, I already have this uh, with me so I'll just go ahead and uh, um, uh, get this package so first I will see that I have composer installed uh, you can uh, look at my other tutorials to see how I've installed the composer uh, so once we have verified that we have composer installed uh, we, we can just uh, uh, start downloading this package so all we need to do is we need to copy this command and paste it Once this uh, package is installed, you will see something like this. Uh, and if we go back to our project, you will see that it creates a vendor folder. So vendor folder is uh, created by composer. It actually um, uh, contains all the modules uh, which we installed via composer. The information for all the installed modules is inside this composer.json file. So right now you will see that we have only in included one. So we can start using this uh, package right away by just including the autoload file from our vendor folder. So we will start using this file and uh, let's uh, try to sh uh, see how it looks. documentation so this is how we have been using it so basically we can either access a page or we can just uh, just to test the, uh, uh, how it works we can just use this example if I view this example So basically we have uh, looped through the crawler elements so um, right now this, uh, this parent node name it, it crawls through with this uh, uh, we are actually doing a loop through the nodes 
so the first node is the HTML node so this is the one which we created uh, I will just uh, use my own uh, website example and I'll demonstrate how uh, we can crawl con con contents from our website so we'll remove this example we will start with our own example so if I go back uh, to my website so uh, let's see so let's say I want to um, get the information from this page uh, if I want to retrieve the description or the price or the title this is how we will do it so first of all I'll copy the link content of this page so to get to get the html i'll just use crawl web contents function and i'll just use this url and once i have this uh, html url i'll put inside it let's let's see uh, how many from elements it's able to retrieve so if i just run the script again we will see that uh, my my page also has this uh, uh, HTML node so it's it's just retrieving the parent node only but what we can do is we can actually uh, start uh, looking into the nodes which we are uh, interested in so let's uh, uh, see uh, see what we are interested in let's say we want to retrieve the title so if I go and inspect this one so what I'm after is this h1 tag which has a class uh, product underscore title access a class I will put a dot before it so the benefit of this crawler is that uh, it, it helps us uh, um, uh, get the nodes in two ways one is like the normal xpath way which is uh, using a php's dom xpath query so if we go to the documentation we can actually query the um, query the doms uh, by uh, targeting the uh, node in the uh, sequence like what should be the parent what should be the child and then we can also uh, uh, access particular attributes of our node but uh, this gets a bit tricky and sometimes uh, it, it becomes a bit hard to uh, figure out which which rules we should follow to target the particular node uh, uh, what I like is the uh, the CSS selector uh, component so this this component is quite good uh, it actually helps us to loop through the nodes in a CSS way so like however you would like to uh, retrieve a node in in, in inspect of your uh, of your browser or just let's say we target any node in our CSS styles same way you will you will be targeting the nodes in the crawler as well so this will make our life a bit easy so let's go ahead and try to retrieve this so I will go and let's say I want to target the uh, h1 with the class uh, product underscore title so I will do is I will do crawler I will apply the filter function and then I will say I want to access the uh, h1 tag with the class product let's say uh, is it able to find this node yes or no so to, to see if it's available yes or no we will use the count function so I'll just war dump it and let's see what, what it gives us mm, so actually I, I like it said we need to install the uh, CSS selector first so all we need to do is we need to make sure that this component install if it's not already installed so I'll just go ahead uh, and install this package alright so once this package is installed I'll just go and run my script again so it says one so that means it's able to find this particular node and this class was only repeating one time the, uh, for this h1 tag so this is how we are able to achieve this 
so now all we need to do is we need to retrieve the data from this uh, node so it's quite easy uh, one way is let's say if I want to manage standard metric typing one way is uh, first I will check that the count exists if it does then I will just make sure that uh, one way is I'll just do text and whatever text I'm getting inside this node I'll be able to retrieve it another way is if there are possibilities of this h1 uh, repeating with the uh, dot product title again like two times or three times in the page then we need to be sure that which node we are uh, supposed to target so if it's the very first uh, node in the page then you will have to write the, um, the first function here so first means that pick whatever first node you find which has a uh, product underscore title class so once you you are decided on this part then you will just put this text and if it's not found then you will just make it empty so once this is done uh, i'll just go ahead and try to print it let's see what we get so this is what we get so the title is already retrieved now let's go ahead and try to retrieve the price so I'll just go and get the price so if I inspect this price I will see that uh, it actually is inside this WooCommerce price amount so I'll see how many times this class is actually repeating in this page If you look at this it's repeating a lot of times so now this is a bit tricky like how would we know that which particular node we are picking so if we want to make sure that we are only targeting the node which we want then we, ne we need to find a different selector that which is not repeated again and again and again so let's uh, if I look back to my nodes I will see that there are a few ID elements here uh, so I will just go ahead and I'll try to find the main ID uh, that will make sure that I'm just targeting this particular section and nothing else. Let's see how much it contains. So this is like a wide scope. If I go ahead a bit down, I narrow down a bit, I'll see that it is product section. And this is also large. And if I go ahead and see this summary. So if I if I am to target main, so let's try to make a rule here. And, and inside main I am going to target the summary so the summary will be so we have targeted summary and then now we will be targeting price amount we have targeted this particular node and now we are able to narrow it down to two, two uh, components the first one is uh, the um, uh, the uh, actual price and the uh, uh, second one is the sale price so we are getting an offer on this one so in this particular uh, node you will see that uh, we need to then make sure that we are targeting the correct one one way is that we will always assume that the last node is the actual price one and the first node is the um, crossed out one either this or another way is like if we, we need to see if we are going to target this Dell as well inside the Dell or inside the INS so one way is like if we start narrowing down like this if we target the INS node first and then the price amount this way we will go exactly into this node one way is this other way is that we let it just just look into this uh, parent node and only pick the last one so last one will mean that it is always the current current price so there are two ways so let's say i, I just go this approach and inspect this node so i just create a new filter I just paste whatever I have uh, tried to uh, achieve from a 
crawler inspect so you will see that this crawler is very good in a way that uh, we don't need to worry uh, keep on checking what tool will work yes or no yes or no we can just try to play within the inspect element once we have our rule we can just copy paste this rule here so once my rule is here I'll also check that um, how many uh, do we have account for it yes or no just for testing purpose so if I just click account here and let's just print it so rightfully it is saying we are able to find two nodes here so like inspect was able to find two same way we are able to find two nodes here so in this way uh, now we need is uh, the second element so same way I will do is I'll just uh, copy paste this one and I'll just name it with product price and I'll just copy paste this rule and this time we don't need the first one but we need the last one one way is for first and last we have this uh, methods available first and last but any other uh, if you want to target there is equal node so then we will have to tell the position for 0, 1, 2 or 3 like whichever node is coming in that sequence so in this case we just need the last one so once this is received let's see what value we are getting this uh, price and since we are calling this uh, text function so what it does is whatever node we are targeting it will strip all the tags from it it will only populate the text inside so in this example it has populated uh, pound symbol uh, along with the price if we want to retrieve the whole uh, node uh, html content as well so we just need to put html instead of text so if i put html here and if i print again let's see what we get we got the node as well as the uh, text data so this is how we retrieve the uh, text uh, in the crawler so i hope uh, you like this uh, tutorial uh, uh, in my next videos i'll try to go a bit deeper into this crawler and we'll try to say uh, see how we can loop through the content and uh, how we can uh, uh, difficult uh, more complex examples uh, thank you for watching please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you